India is, in my opinion, not a country. It's almost like a little world of its own. What India is today, it is a Bali world. That a country in which you have right now a lot of energy. It's the second most populous country now, but it will surpass China. The world can't do without India. We made an important step this year, having our India Economic Summit for the first time outside of the nation's capital and into one of the economically most important states. I would like to thank you particularly for joining us to contribute in a positive way to the development of this great country, India. All of the heads of um, India Inc., some of the most prominent faces, all make time to come here and of course a lot of the journalists and discuss some of the current events that are occupying everyone's mind these days. It's important for all of us to recognize the whole set of opportunities that we are sitting on and to recognize the important fundamental strengths that India has. It used to be a market in itself, a resource for a unique blend of talent, and now it's also a powerhouse. In a recent survey, uh, people were asked, would you be ready to work uh, in the fight against corruption? In India, 74% of the people said yes. When I go to some of the villages in India, go to slums in India, you see a lot of young people who are making change happen in their own localities. And I think they are, you know, they are shapers, even without a recognition of this kind. I'm so glad that finally the Global Shapers program has been formed to give youth in India, youth across the world, a voice. If you see a, a, a dynamic India, it's us who's going to make it. I am hoping that through energy and healthcare and all the infrastructure build out, we can work together to actually improve the quality of life of these 7 800 million people who earn less than a dollar a day. Several ideas came to address the issues of uh, inclusion, uh, harnessing talent and transparency in governance. It's important uh, that India continues this path of inclusive growth, of equitable growth, to close gaps, to ensure that the benefits of India's economic really benefit uh, all segments of the population. Mm -hmm.